I'm gonna get out of here. Hey! Move at me! This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be looking at Rogue One, the next installment in the epic Star Wars series, and a film that needed to go a long way to earn back my trust after last year's release of the thoroughly disappointing Droids of the Resistance 1000-piece jigsaw puzzle. The first standalone film in the series, Rogue One fills in the details of how the Rebel Alliance first stole the plans it would ultimately use to destroy the Death Star in A New Hope. Still, one wonders how many viewers will even return to theaters after having their faith in the franchise shattered by a puzzle so unworthy of the Star Wars name. Indeed, with its frequent homages to past installments, much of Rogue One plays as an extended apology to those of us who waited for months to assemble a photo mosaic of the three droids pictured on the box, only to become slowly disillusioned while piecing together this blatant cash grab. Yet not even Rogue One's extraordinary efforts to match the tone and aesthetic of the original Star Wars can excuse the disrespect for the source material by a puzzle that carelessly padded out the white parts of its mosaic with dozens of identical screen grabs from the Battle of Hoth. Likewise, as charismatic as lead Felicity Jones may be as rebel pilot Jin Erso, she will never win over deeply jaded fans like myself who wasted $15 on this travesty, a rehash of ideas we've seen done before and better by 2011's photo mosaic puzzle of C-3PO and R2-D2. After all, this is one of cinema's most iconic franchises, one that's produced moments as indelible as the Mos Eisley Cantina, the attack on the Death Star, and the holographic 100-piece Darth Maul puzzle that changes depending on what angle you look at it from. Unfortunately, as often as Rogue One reaches for those artistic heights, it can only go so far in repairing the tarnished Star Wars name. Plus, the, the puzzle's goddamn impossible to do, all right? It's impossible. I mean, look. All of the pieces are exactly the same color. So you have no clue where anything goes. God, it makes me so angry. Every morning I see the pieces piled up on my table. Each time it pisses me off. I'm sorry, it does. I, I put in like a hundred hours of my life on this thing. And for what? I haven't even finished R2's head. Damn it! For the Onions Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.